With uh, molecular orbital theory, first things first, if you have a double bond and then a single bond and another double, so that you kind of have like every other bond is a double bond, these double bonds are considered conjugated. So this is a conjugated system or conjugated or a set of conjugated double bonds. And what that means is that when you have double, single, and then immediately another double bond, these double bonds can interact. Okay, which makes this um, the electrons uh, that that um, are part of these double bonds uh, uh, very stable. So in actuality, a conjugated double bond uh, looks kind of like this. So you have again the four carbons, but really just a partial double bond character throughout the carbon where the first double bond begins. Uh, to the fourth carbon, two, three, fourth carbon, where double bond, um, the second double bond ends. So they can interact with each other because they uh, consist of now uh, not just atomic orbitals, but uh, molecular orbitals. So let's see. If you were to draw out what these molecular orbitals look like, you would first have to draw the four carbons at the center of a p atomic orbital which kind of remember looks like a dumbbell shape so let's draw one two three four and each center of these p orbitals or atomic p orbitals represents a carbon and these carbons are, are linked together through um you know obviously through these sigma bonds this is called a Single bond is called a, a sigma bond, and a double bond is called a pi bond. But really, this is just some semantics, uh, just in terms of labeling. So now, what we're going to do is, since you now have a pi bond, and then another uh, pi bond uh, nearby. What we're going to do is draw the molecular orbitals uh, that are actually made up of these four atomic p orbitals. So what happens is these four atomic p orbitals, one part of this carbon here, second part of this carbon here, third and fourth, what these guys are going to do is they're going to be able to uh, kind of overlap to create these molecular orbitals. To make molecular orbitals so that you now have a whole different realm that these uh, four um, these four electrons can go to right? can be located in so as a result uh, you might also hear them called um, uh, p electrons maybe f or, or four pi electrons so just to become familiar with some of the naming they they could be called four pi electrons because they're part of these two pi bonds right so Again, sometimes a confusing part of chemistry is all the different names uh, that really describe the same thing. So, again, this uh, molecular orbital that we're going to draw, we'll call the first one Psi 1. And this is a molecular orbital. And the first molecular orbital, if we draw the, the two different um, phases, let's say... I'll draw this, say, uh, just giving him an arbitrary name. I'll draw four pluses on top, and I'll draw all of the minuses on the bottom. So, what you have here is the psi one molecular orbital contains no nodes. Nodes just means that there's some change in the phase as you go from one carbon to the next. So, since there's no uh, phase change, goes from plus on the top to an overlapping plus phase on the top as well 
then the third one is also plus. There, there's no nodes. There's no change in the phases of the p orbitals. So this is no nodes. Let's draw. these four carbons again by just showing the p orbital that's surrounding it and again we're overlapping it to make the molecular orbital we're overlapping all the p's to make the molecular orbital and we'll call this psi 2 to describe the second molecular orbital and let's draw psi 2 with one node one node means that if this carbon is in this phase overlapping with this, these two uh, pluses are overlapping, there's going to be a node uh, right here in the middle so that you have now pluses at the bottom. Node just means again that there's a change in the phases of these p uh, orbitals which make up the entire molecular orbital. So the psi 2 has one node. Now let's uh, Go to, let's, see, let's keep this the same color. Let's draw those in green. And this is going to be psi 3, molecular orbital. And if we have no nodes, then one node, psi 3, is going to have two nodes, which is kind of kind of going up or, or increasing. And if the two nodes are kind of evenly distributed throughout the four carbons, you might have one here and one here. Right? The other node, uh, I'll draw in where the one node was here inside two. And of course, no nodes, we don't draw in anything. Now, if I have a change from here to here, that means that, or, or a node, I'm going to draw a plus in the top and then I'm going to change it. I'm going to draw the plus on the bottom now. Okay. So let's go from carbon 2 to carbon 3. There's no node here so I'm going to keep drawing the pluses there. Now there's a change here so I'm going to draw the plus there. And of course I'm just drawing all the minuses which are just arbitrary names or an arbitrary way to symbolize you know, the, the, the two different phases of the um, of, of these orbitals right so you know, some books might have them drawn in different colors um, so it's you know, just the way to label the two different phases up or down plus or minus <clears throat> so the final one the final molecular orbital psi 4 has how many nodes? Well, zero, one, two, it's got a three. It's got a three from starting with no nodes for the first molecular orbital. So if I evenly distribute the three nodes, well, there's only one way to do it. I have to have a node here, I have to have a node here, and I have to have a node here. So I have three nodes. And again, a node means that if I start with the plus, when I jump to the next carbon, there's going to be a change. So now plus isn't on top anymore, it's at the bottom. Now I have another node here, so I got to draw. I can't draw the plus on the bottom. I got to draw it on top, and so on. I have another node here, so that's how I have to draw that. I'm just going to draw in my minuses. So what we did was draw the um, four molecular orbitals for uh, one three. This compound is called 1,3-butadiene.